Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing candle empties. I feel like I haven't done candle empties in probably longer than a month. I don't know. It's been a great while. So I have um, a collection of candles that I have used up for the past like month, month and a half. By the way, I really haven't been burning that much. I've just been super busy doing like other stuff. But the candles that I do have, um, some of them have reviews on my channel. So definitely, you know, search that up if you want to see a specific review. Otherwise, um, some of them just do not have a review. I feel like some of them just weren't worthy of a review. So if you want more like in depth, um, you know, how the burn was, how the performance of the candle was, um, how the scent was, how the scent throw was, definitely check those out. By the way, the reason why I do these empty videos is because number one, you guys absolutely love watching them. But number two, it is also to prove that I do burn my candles. Some people actually will take the candle and will only burn maybe a half of the way down or a fourth of the way down, and then they'll take the candle back and return turn it. Um, I actually burn my candles and I enjoy my candles all the way to the end. So if you are um, looking for somebody to do candle reviews, make sure that they do candle empties so you can see that they're actually emptying the candle and finishing it and not just basically scamming you guys. So let's get started. Um, the first candle that I finished was Snow is Glistening, and this is by Yankee Candle, a beautiful candle. As you guys can see, crystal clear. I don't think I had any problems with the burn on this one. By the way, I did do a candle review on this, so if you guys are interested um, in looking at that, go right ahead. This is in the Winter Wonderland Collection series, and I love it because, number one, it had like all these snowflakes or whatever on the outside of it, and I mean, the label is just absolutely beautiful, and the scent of this is more kind of like a powdery type of scent. It was really nice, and I probably would repurchase it. Um, um, for the winter season. And then I only have one other Yankee candle left, if you guys can believe that. Uh, Berry Trifle. Is it Trifle or Truffle? What is it? I don't know. But anyway, this one was really nice for Valentine's Day. Um, it has raspberries on the front of it with cream, but I actually really didn't get any raspberry scent in here at all. Um, I got like a strawberry and then also a cherry note to it with cream on top, but this one is really pretty. I like the label. Again, you guys, look at these Yankee candles. Honestly, giving me life right now with the no soot. So super happy about that. Okay. So now let's get into some of the other candles that I burned this month that are not Yankee Candle related. Um, actually, this was not this month. Okay, so this was around Christmas time or New Year's. Is that how long it's been since I've done a candle empty? That's kind of scary. But anyway, this one is Tis the Season by Bath and Body Works. And as you guys can see, literally a shit show. It was really bad. Um, this scent is one of my number one scents of all times from Bath and Body Works for their holiday collection. But I had wicks that fizzled out on me. I had burning problems um, all the way throughout. So it was just, it was not good at all. Um, another Bath and Body Works candle that I finished, this is a White Barn um, Lavender Vanilla. I picked this one up at, I believe their semi-annual sale. I really love the color purple. I'm going to be saving this for my bathroom because I'm going to be putting a little votive holder in here and uh, burning my Yankee Candle votives in here because the color of this just goes really perfectly with my decor. I could actually put it in here too. The purples kind of pick up on one another, but... This candle burned amazing and I didn't smell absolutely anything from this candle. I had this in a very small bathroom and I mean, when I went up to the candle, I could smell it, but as I was just walking around the house or going into the bathroom when the candle was lit, like touching up makeup or brushing teeth or doing whatever, could not smell it at all. Um, this is the little do that. I don't even know why I saved this, but whatever. But yeah, so would not repurchase this again because I couldn't smell 
a thing. I also finished this candle. This one was by a company called A&E and it was warm beech wood. It says remove this before burning, which obviously I did. And I do have a little glass votive holder in here because I am going to be using this to burn votive. So this was the glass holder that I was talking about. It's really gross and disgusting right now. So like literally don't look at it. But you can get these at Yankee Candle. You can probably get them at the Dollar Tree too. I mean, who are we kidding? So anyway, so what I would do with this is I would just put a votive in here and then stick this inside and then it just lights up and it illuminates and it is beautiful and magnificent. But anyway, okay, so this candle, a shit show. Not good at all. Um, the scent, I can't even smell it. I don't even know what I'm doing with myself right now. Why am I smelling an empty jar? I don't know. But anyway, um, this candle had a ton of soot. I washed it and because I'm going to be using it again. But um, if you see these at TJ Maxx, do not purchase these candles. I'm glad I got this one, I guess, for the jar because it does go, again, with this decor as well. Look at these two colors go with the decor of the bedspread. So that's kind of cute. Maybe I could somehow play it up in here. Um, but yeah, I like the raised little little buds on here and I just think that this is pretty. I think I got this for $7.99. Um, but yeah, definitely not worth it. Don't buy them if you're interested, you know, in having a candle to smell properly and burn properly in your home. Um, the next one I have is a Kringle candle, and this is in the scent Bayberry. This was an older candle that I bought um, many moons ago, and this one was really nice. Tiny little bit of soot on here. Two wick. Wick stayed put. Really nice scent, really nice scent. I love this one. Um, and I might have a candle review of this on my channel. I'm not real sure. Um, so yeah, check that out. This next one is by Kringle Candle, and this one is literally one of my favorites. This is Vanilla Lavender, and I just love the gingham print being purple and all. I think it's so pretty. And the scent on this, you guys, was amazing. So good. If you guys like lavender, but feel like lavender sometimes can be too pungent of a smell because lavender can kind of be a little strong grandma-ish. The vanilla on this really mellowed it out well. It was a creamy vanilla, so definitely like ice cream. I mean, they have a picture of ice cream on the front here. The only problem with this candle was the soot. There was a lot of soot up on top. So yes, that is a problem. I also finished, um, let's see, two DW home candles. This first one is Gardenia, just straight up Gardenia. And um, I love the little label here that they have on top that it matches the label on the candle. This one did soot for me, but the burn was absolutely magnificent. Um, I had no problem at all with the burn and the smell on this was absolutely gorgeous. I got this at TJ Maxx for $7.99. And then I also finished another DW Home candle. This one was, whoops, a clearance candle that I bought, I believe... It could have been Fond du Lac, but I can't quite remember. So this one came in this cute little box and it says Vanilla Spice. And this candle you guys smelled just like chai latte, but there was a ton of soot. So basically you open it up. Um, it was probably leftover seriously from Christmas time. Oh my God, I'm getting soot all over my hands. Shit, I need a wet wipe. Anyway, this candle was really nice besides the soot. Um, it smelled really good, just like vanilla chai, vanilla chai latte. Um, cute little box. I mean, I'm just going to throw it away, but somebody who needs, um, you know, like a box to store things in, like tampons or whatever, that would work for you. Um, let's see. I also finished, this one is by Better Homes and Gardens, and I do have a review on my channel of this. I did say in the review that it's so, super bad. I feel like that was my fault. First of all, the scent of this candle is sea spray linen, and it was amazing. The scent literally did the whole, literally the whole house. It was amazing. It was so good. Um, the candle didn't start to soot, though, until like 
I would say right about here is where it started to soot. And I think it was my fault because I didn't trim the wick. I forgot one time and then it was just kind of like a catastrophe. Like the burn was fine. Um, the scent throw was great. So definitely if you're going to be picking one of these up, uh, remember to trim the wick because that's super important in those Better Homes and Gardens candles. And then I also finished two candles by Root. This is the Root Legacy Pineapple Papaya. Super, super nice smell. Um, the scent was really nice as well. A little bit dirty, as you guys can see, of the glassware. Um, Root actually sent me this candle um, just to kind of talk about natural beeswax. Really, really good. Um, good scent throw on this one. This one, on the other hand, I really didn't smell too much of. I had this in my bathroom. This was the honeysuckle one. And for, um, I mean... <sighs> I don't know. I can. I mean, it smells super strong now, but literally it just didn't throw. It didn't do anything in the air when I had it. So I had one that really did and one that really didn't. But And then also it is kind of messy, leaving a lot of wax residue on the, the sides of the candle there. And then the last candle that I have, oh no, actually... I forgot about these two little doodads. So um, someone sent me these candles to try. This one is Pink Mimosa, and this one was Red Current. And I had these in my bathroom together. I just thought that I would do like a little mixology. And um, this one I blew out right away because this one exploded on me. It was super bad. All of a sudden, I'm like listening and I hear a popping sound and I go in there and the flame on this was like literally huge, like huge, huge, huge. And I got really scared. So I thought, oh my gosh, let's blow it out. Maybe they're faulty or something. I don't know. So ended up um, not burning the other one. And by the way, when I went into the bathroom, I couldn't smell anything. I mean, the candles are so small that I think it's just basically for you to open up and smell the scent. I don't really think that you should be burning um, a candle like that. But anyway, and then the last candle that I finished, this was by Cottages of England. And this was the um, lilac one three wick candle. Beautiful. I did a review on my channel about this. Um, and that is what this looked like a little bit messy jar, but you guys seriously, beautiful candle, beautiful packaging also. And I would highly suggest, um, going out and purchasing this. This was a good one. You can get this on Amazon. I did a review, like I said, on my channel and the link for this candle is in the review of that candle. On YouTube so go check it out but that was my candle empties for this time around I need to take a chug of my coffee mmm thank you guys so much for watching um, if you have any of these candles leave a comment down below and let me know how you like them or dislike them or whatever and I will see you guys all soon bye everyone